that was one hell of an opening. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. And now that you are, I think, not a child? It's more... That's the same picture. Are they all the... They are all the same picture. Kit? Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Uh, okay. And I'm I'm 22, and I'm still weirdly scared of the dark. So what's your what's your point? Are we just opening up? I don't really know you that much. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10, and she was painting my portrait. Again, I feel like I'm gonna look in one of these, and it's just gonna be someone looking back. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. All of my stomach started growling. All of them? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. So are we in Norway? Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Okay. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! In already! Coming! Hold For on. That day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh, God. The day he made it to my fly. And he did. Wait. So he fucking flew. Yeah, the story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. So I apologize for my stupidity, everyone. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, apparently. After was it? Unfortunately, the scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Someone actually died. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Surprise! 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 Surprise!
What the fuck? She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying hmm. packages. Thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. This is new. Jesus Christ, it's dark in here. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. I say this is some type of fucking shelter? Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Jesus Christ! On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the evening. But after a few days, I settled huh. into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule. Hey, you did the thing! Today, you didn't open all the way, like you're supposed. Oh, I always expected to be here tomorrow. I'm done waiting. I have to leave, while well, I still can. Maybe I, this I... is all a mistake. I'm gonna say breaking out. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I, I appreciate how pretty this game is, and I appreciate the narrative. Or a month. The, but this is a really Soon. slow walking pace. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Not necessarily. I like how they're solar powered, but did that just turn on by itself? But I thought you should know about your family. So you're writing this to... Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? And the Am history you're a part of. Am I a preggernaut? Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Am, am I pregnant? I thought my stomach was a little large. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. In a way, I guess so. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Apparently ours. Or yours. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. 
Is that the ship? Hold that thought, I can't fucking... Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. So that's... Okay, maybe the bricks weren't so hard to get for that fireplace then. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I knew it! For Gaganand. There's that camera. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Bird. Aww. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! Ah! 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 That's a ah, keeper. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Run! 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 <laughs> Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's... That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about... Dad! Oh! Oh. That last one's a big-ass O. Oh. All these stories... That's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Divorce contract. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. That's not creepy at all. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Whee! I know how silly it sounds. But I'm worried about a baby being too happy. I'm, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Wait, what? And he'd want you to be happy too. So yeah, he drowned. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Something about poems, was it? A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. I picked up chairs. I am just wrecking shit the right now. Buckets, then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. I wish that what? Oh shit. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Oh. Until we found you.
Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Huh. I wonder what it smelt like. What the hell is this? Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I'm I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. Wait. I asked him to describe it. This is difficult. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Okay, so then the fish needs to. Yeah. Give, give fish. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Minneapolis. Min Until one day he forgot <laughs> to go home from the cannery. Minneapolis? Even as Is his it mother Minneapolis, Minnesota? Part of Lewis kept sailing off. Well, she's still there. Like, I understand he's on drugs my and psychedelics. My imagination is as but... real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. And now I'm back at work. I think. There's blood. Began to forget the world we know. Again, do do you a hundred percent blame him? You okay, buddy? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Buddy, you okay? Am I supposed to go up that? I still thought I could save him. Um. Sometimes you can't. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. I see where this is going, and I don't like it. I already... And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. He was on a drug trip, and he fucking stuck his head through the fish thing. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. But Milton. I don't have Milton and Dawn and Eddie. Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, 
You know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Some shit happened, apparently. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. I started seeing things. That's not necessarily crazy. Like, a deer could have crawled all the way out here. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, that night, a lot of things came back to me. Really old oven? Wood fire or maybe oven? I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great-Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. The rest happened mine. pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. That has gotten so sad. I was alone. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. So now I'm Edith's son in that last shot. Did Edith die in childbirth? The Edith Finch team. The end. Did I skip over Milton? I Yeah, I Edie and Dawn. I I must say There was a way into this room. I never saw I went all the way around and I never saw it. God. Now I feel like shit. 
Because, yeah, this was the... The painting room. Oh my god, I completely missed it. Milton, I am sorry. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. disappeared and that was Milton's trophy earned everything ends mom spent months searching for my brother then she sealed the doors Yeah, there's all the paintings and everything, but then that's this. This is the door. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. But that being said, I don't know how I missed Milton's. I really don't. I don't understand how I just skipped over that. I don't recall seeing a prompt for it. But, this is, again, a very, very sad story. Very good story, but... We now have all of them together in this book for the unnamed child of Edith, so... I hope you all enjoyed this series. It's good. It's really good. It's amazing. I just don't know... I don't want to say I have a favorite death. So... Very long, very sad story, but a very, very good game. If you guys haven't played through this yourself and are trying to find stuff maybe that I missed, like Milton's story, I completely missed that. But good luck to anyone that plays this. And like I said when I first started, get a box of tissues, cause it's it's sad. If any of this hits close to home to you guys, like some of this hits close to home to me, then I guess I I, I know what you're feeling. But again, what remains of Edith Finch? is a great game. I highly suggest you all play out. 10 out of 10 is only a couple hours here, but yeah, just go play it for yourselves. Maybe you guys will get a different reaction than I have, but thank you all for watching this series. I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe and smash the bell so you don't forget to see whatever series I do next. So Again, thank each and every one of you. At the time of recording this, I think we've just passed 50 subscribers, so don't forget to share these videos with your friends, and hopefully we can make it to 100. So, thank you all, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces!